Hi, my name is Thomas, and I am here to shed a little light on how to print graph paper from the internet. In my day, I had to get my graph paper from the local stationery store. But you, today, have the option of making your own graph paper when you're in need of it, and then print it from your own computer. This video is part of a series of videos to introduce you to the graph paper types available to you on the internet, along with what you will need to know to print them from your own computer. It is easy to do, but first I would like to show you a few of the different common types of graph paper that are available to you and that you may be in need of. I will turn you over now to our friend Henry, who will walk you through printing graph paper from the internet. Well, thank you, Thomas. It's good to get back together on a new adventure. Since we needed some graph paper to draw out our newest plans, I went to that newfangled thing, the internet, to find some. For our new designs, we just needed some plain Cartesian graph paper to begin with. We can start plotting out some of our plans on this. But when we went down to look at our data, I think we're going to need some semi-log it's a little more complicated with the lines here and then a logarithmic graph up this way. And then we're going to need some log log for some of that more complex data that you come up with, Thomas. In the end, I think we're going to need some perspective on our uh, new project. So we're going to use some of this 3D graph paper with this 3D grid where we can see what we're looking at from uh, uh, angles that make it look like it's a real drawing or a real item uh, to print that last piece of grass graph paper we went down here saw this uh, grid and it looked like we have just about everything we need just like we want so I hit the submit button cr uh, created some graph paper it looked just like the one I was looking at just before and I said well that's what I want so I went up here and pr click the print button, leave everything else alone, hit OK, and I hear it going to the printer. I think that about covers it for a quick intro to this uh, graph paper. We're going to be looking at these graph papers more in detail, uh, each one of them. We'll do some drawing and show you some basics on it. Thanks for watching. Now how does that new camera work? I don't see any cranks to wind the film. Thomas, do you know?